Hey fellow collectors, today we'll be taking a look at Disney's Gargoyle Xenatos Ultimate Action Figure. And as you can see here, we have some artwork with Xenatos looking at a chessboard with all of the Gargoyle figures that have been released. If we open them up on this side, we do see a nice picture of the Xenatos toy in a diorama of his office. This side we will see his, um, all the accessories that he does come with and the figure himself. On the side we'll see the same figure but in a different pose. And we see this is by NECA, the Gargoyles. And on the back we'll see Disney's Gargoyles. We'll have a couple of shots and a little bit of words for people to read. And we see these nice, nice pictures of all of the figures that have been released with Xanatos. Not just uh, the, 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 the ones in this wave, but all of them. Nice. And we see another product shot. So let's get this guy out. <laughs> Um, we look at the accessories that he comes with, and he doesn't come with a stand, so I'm going to have to use them whenever I do the, the reviews. So, first accessory we'll take a look at is this weapon here that he has. We see it's very futuristic and very Disney, and has a hole. Now, this hole is for the blast effect that it comes with. Very nice. NECA has used this before with the Defenders of the Earth line. But just change the color a little bit. He does come with four fingers, hands, and uh, yeah, that's not the thumbs up, but it's to grab the weapon and has another shooting hand weapon. Has a left hand that can go, and then a reaching hand or stop, don't do that hand. He comes with a floppy disk because we're stuck in the past and can't get into the future. <sighs> nice accessory to have. And he does have these. I forgot what they're called, but they are gold um, symbols of Ra, I believe it was, from the episode. Please don't quote me. He does come with this extra head with a huge neck. So, this could go on the Xanatos figure, and he does come with a rather large ponytail. And one of the great things he comes with is this right here. The wrap up figure. Now, I believe this goes on Demona. But, nice detail in these. And you can see it does have the pegs for the back. And he's displaying why I need to give him a stand. And let's see which hole he really fits better into. Yep, yeah, okay. The B holes. Option B. Because on my stands there are three options, A, B, and C. And he is... The B option. Not the biggest, not the smallest. Just in the middle. Okay. Now that we have him set up, we see this smirking face. And we turn on the back, we see that ponytail. We see him in his outfit that he was in the show with. Nice detail right here in the buttons. And the shirt, but a standard outfit, at least. 
So this guy. Does stand at the seven inch mark. Just a tick underneath. So the for the G.I. Joe figures, you can definitely see that he will be just a little bit taller. Same thing with the Marvel Legends. But he will fit in nicely with the other Deathbots uh, and McFarlane toy line. So, final thoughts on this guy? Yeah, it's great. Um, well, I shouldn't do my final thoughts before I do the articulation. All right, so he can look up and down next to this big, thick neck of his. Um, he does get it, but it does come back because of the outfit. Now, his arms do a full range motion, come out. He has a elbow swivel, and it is a single bend. Wrist go around. Now, he doesn't have a looking like an ab, but it does have an ab crunch. You do pull him up, you can see that his shirt is untucked there, which allows for the waist swivel. His legs do come out a pretty good bit. And they do come out, rotate a little bit. Now his knee only has one bend, and he has a toe swivel, as well as a rocker back and forth, and a ball joint for his ankle to go around with. So now, final thoughts on this guy. Yeah, it's great to have Xanatos, the, the head of the organization that brought the gargoyles back to life. And also turns out to be a, uh, a villain against them. So, before I, I go, let me do the one thing that some people will enjoy is that laser being shot and it's a it's a nice effect but whenever you do have it be aware that it will make the character a little unstable so you gotta have them in a nice stance my defenders of the earth fall down all the time when i try that but anyway guys as always like subscribe and keep collecting